Hey everyone, it's Elise. I'm the Senior Program Manager for ODMAP, and today we're going to take a deeper dive into adding some layers within your ODMAP Level 2 dashboard. Previously, we had looked at some open source data that was available through Esri ArcGIS, but today I'm going to show you how you can upload data um, that is unique to your agency or your state. And as a reminder, anything that you upload during this uh, session is only viewable uh, to you in your session. Nobody else would view it. And when you come back or when you close out of your browser, you're going to have to go through that again. So um, many of you in your own backyards uh, may have seen some uh, releases on where there are some COVID-19 uh, screening sites. And so uh, today I'm going to show you how you can take that information, uh, put it into a CSV format, and view it within ODMAP. So I pulled up um, some information and releases um, here in Maryland, um, and so you would need to do some um, sourcing, whether it's publicly available data from your Department of Health or wherever you'll find it in your backyard. Um, so I found one here where they're using um, FedEx Field um, as a testing site, and then I also found um, publicly available data um, that exists for uh, Maryland using vehicle emission inspection program as drive-through test sites as well. So I was able to um, find those addresses by doing some uh, searching so you can actually uh, view the addresses. And then what you'll have to do from there is you're going to have to geocode the addresses. So what you want to do first um, is look at um, setting up uh, an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and you're going to need to make sure that you have headers on top. It will make things easier when you view it within um, the Level 2 platform. So for me, um, I decided to put the location name. So we have uh, different locations where uh, test sites are occurring in Maryland. I put their names. Uh, for me, I just put the host, uh, the different counties, or whether it's Maryland Department of Health that's hosting it, the zip code of the address, the street name, and then the latitude and longitude. So for the latitude and longitude, you're going to need to utilize a geocoder. Um, there's a lot of free public ones available. You may also have one available in your agency. Then you're just going to need to save this as a CSV, and then you can look at this uh, within the Level 2 dashboard. So you click the Add Data button right here. Um, you go over here to File. You browse your uh, computer to find it. You click on it, and you open it, and it's going to let you know that it's actively adding it until it ultimately goes through the process. Once it does, um, you'll be able to uh, view those actual test sites. So we see that it's uh, completed. I can click on my layer list right here. So I see that I have the overdoses uh, within ODMAP. Um, and so it's important to mention that, again, we're in our training environment, so none of these overdoses are actual. So we can see that there have been various test sites um, uploaded. And you can see that they, right now in the session, are going to be red dots. You can click on it, and you can see all of the fields that we um, input, uh, they show right here. You can upload additional CSV files if you want to. Um, so I went through and I found uh, a drop-off location for prescriptions. Um, and so we can just upload that in here as well um, to show you what it looks like. So you go through the same process. You uh, click on the file that you're looking to upload, and then it will let us know when it's complete and what the um, and look in the layer list to let us know what is going to be utilized to represent that. So we can see that this one is going to be a blue dot. So you can zoom out. Um, the colors will change um, for every session. For example, when I was uh, completing this earlier today, they were green. You don't have any control uh, to make those bigger. Um, or to change the color of them. Um, so that could make it difficult sometimes. Um, and so it just, uh, it, this really helps, especially when you're doing a more localized analysis. And you can really just keep going with this. So if you wanted to look at some publicly available data as well, such as the um, COVID-19 data, you could do that. And so we just click on that and add it. And then we can uh, be able to complete analysis, um, really a, a, a multi-layer analysis with both publicly available data, data that may be unique to your agency. Um, and so we can view right here um, overdoses for a given period of time combined with um, publicly available information on COVID-19 test sites, drop-off sites for prescription drugs, and uh, coronavirus data as well. I hope this helps you uh, complete a more in-depth multi-layer analysis. 
Um, as with anything, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.